Yo, what's going on everyone? So, obviously, last video you saw would probably be the dyno video with Dustin's car and a few subscribers' cars and stuff like that. I sent me some clips. And then the one before that we started messing with this. The reason I posted that video before is because, um, you know, Monday was my birthday and stuff. I had family hanging out and stuff for Monday and then Tuesday and stuff. So I really didn't have time to come up here, finish this, or record or do anything. So, I still want to do my three videos a week like I promised. So... Therefore, we're here now, and we're going to finish this up. So, I got some zip ties up on here. You know, this is all lined up in time like it should be. Um, now, we're going to go ahead and crack this top piece loose, and that will give us access to the cam, and we can break this bolt here loose. Then, pursue, and then keep going with the process of doing these springs and retainers and the cam. So, um, yeah, we got two tens here. Two tens back here, and then over here you got your twelves. So go ahead and get that taken care of, and then go from there. So first, we'll go ahead and crack loose these tens. Right here. So I always go corner to corner, and then this one over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow your roll. And over here. Those are loose. Now we'll swap over to a 12 and do the same with those. And then we'll go ahead and do the 12. Start from the inside. Cut these loose a little bit before anything. Then we can switch back over to the 10. All right, so now your cam is exposed, which obviously, you know, we don't need this cam anymore. Which is cool, very cool, because we got a good one, a better one, and some springs and retainers. So now we're gonna pop this all off and go from there. All right, so we're going up to the parts store to get um two things that we need to do this. I can't find mine, so I gotta rent one, or buy one, whatever. Uh, compression tester because you need the bottom part of it to screw into the head to put air into the system, and then I need the spring tool to compress the spring down. So we can pull the old ones off, you know? So, yep. Let's get what we need. Get back to the shop and get to it. All right, so we went ahead and did one off camera. Um, as you can see, spring it's is out. Definitely a two-person job. Yeah. So here's the new springs and the retainers. So I'm going to go ahead and get one done, and then we'll show you guys the process. All right, so we got this one all set up on here. Um, now we'll go ahead and drop it back down, and then we'll have to get the C-clips in it as well. So let's see how well this goes. Get there. Just have to make sure it clears the valve. And not to hit here too. That's what. It's really hard on this because these spark plug tubes are in the way. So we'll go ahead and get this one done. And update you guys. All right, so this is a pain to do. We we're still working on this one for like 20 minutes because the spark plug tubes get in the way of doing them. This side might be a little easier, but this one's harder, especially with the tool we have. So we're gonna, it was a rental, but I now own it because we're cutting the piece off of it that's getting in the way. Okay. Watch your finger. Yep. That kept getting hit in the spark plug tunnel. <laughs> so we just cut it off. You gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, it was only like 20 something bucks to rent it. I don't know if it's me to buy it, but I don't care at this point. I want this done so we can turn the boost up or down, whichever I need it. But so we can turn the rev limiter up a little bit, get some more power in higher RPM, stuff like that. I wanna get this thing started with this new cam and everything. I wanna hear it already. So. Does it have a new cam in it? I have a cam for it. 
We're gonna put the cam in it. We're just doing this part first, you know? The cam ain't nothing, that's the simple part. You just slap it in there, put the cam gear back on, and that's it. And then we, need to, we gotta do the valve lash. So, yeah. I'll update you guys again here in a short lay. All right, so got one side done, or one valve done. <laughs> Not one side, just one done. But look at that thing in there. Ooh. So, um, definitely a pain in the butt to do this. But yeah, we're gonna just keep trucking along, you know. So update every so often, I guess, because it's hard to hold the phone and record and do this when you know, it kind of takes two people to do this so <clears throat> but if we need to grind those pieces down at the bottom flatter we can since i'm keeping it now that i've cut that piece off <laughs> it's not like we're returning it anymore but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get this going Started with my ECU in it, so only thing that I could think. Please don't fuck up my ECU. Huh? Why does it keep shutting off? So <clears throat> these are done. Pretty much all the back is done. These two up front. These two are getting stuck, so we kept moving on. These are done. I'm working on these two here now. And then we'll come back to these here. You know it's hot when I take my shirt off and I look like this. I think it's like 90 some degrees out right now. It's even hotter in here. And I was in the attic yesterday and I forgot to put the cover back on. So when I came in this morning, Storching hot in here, but we got some Wendy's right quick. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go tear it down with that five dollar biggie bag. So we're gonna tear up some Wendy's and then get back to it. Yeah, that's what's happening. Alrighty then, everybody. So I can't get that out. <laughs> I think my my hands are too oily. Got it? Nah. My hands are way too oily. Come on, my guy. Very nice. So, <clears throat> we have 98% um, of them in, right? Uh, what? Of the springs? 4 plus 6, 10 out of 12, which 16. is... Um, 16. 5 6, which is approximately... Are you getting really detailed yeah. into this? Yes. We have 14 of 16 done. <laughs> so. No, we have. No, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. We have I'm 14 sorry. of 16 What's of them this? done. <laughs> this isn't a BMW. Wow. You know, these things are good. So, these are the last two that we got to do. They were giving us trouble earlier. So, we just said, you know what? We're going to move ahead. Then we'll come back to them later. So, we don't get left, like. Time, you know, so we don't be held back. Seems like the right choice. Yeah, so we knocked out the rest after that one. 
those two, then we can slap the cam in it, put the rocker assembly back on, torque it down, do the valve lash and everything, change the oil catch can over. Should be good for that start with this built head. Whew, I'm excited. Yo, if you all excited, smash that like button. Let me know down in the comments that you guys are stoked that we're making moves. We're actually getting this head built and stuff. Like I said, I was going to just hold off on all this and just do everything on the build engine and stuff. But I'm like, you know what? I have it. We're trying to build num or make numbers on the dyno. We're trying to make good time at the track, all this. And to do that, we'll spend you know a couple hours or whatever time it takes to do this head. And we'll be able to make more power, less boost, and we can rev a little higher and stuff like that. So, and having a built head takes stress off the bottom end being it's a stock block. It's a good move to make. Oh no. Look, compressor might be kicking on here shortly. So I'm gonna get back to this. All right, so we now have springs and retainers. Next thing is the cam. I'm um, gonna go ahead and pull the distributor off. It's just the 12 millimeters. So I'm gonna get the distributor out the way. And we'll go ahead and set the timing and everything where it needs to be. And then pull the cam out, slap the new cam in, tighten it all back up, and go from there. All right, and like that, new cam is in. I put oil all over all the valve train stuff. So obviously when we crank it, it's not dry. So this is tight, that's tight. We go ahead and take the zip tie off. We get our rocker assembly back on to work down and um, do the valve lash. So I'm gonna get that zip tie off and then we'll get that rocker assembly put on. All right, so we get them beautiful things in there. You know, little ARP head studs, springs and retainers, Vishimoto cam now. Oof, I like it. I like it a lot, <laughs> yes. Um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is connect the battery, leave the distributor disconnecting everything and just let the motor do a couple rotations. And then um, from there, we're gonna do valve lash. I just wanna make sure everything seats right before I do the valve lash. So obviously I wanna let it do a rotation first and then go from there. All right, so um, rocker assembly, Everything is all back together. Motor free spun. Not free spun, but we turned it the key and let her do a couple rotations. All that's good. Everything is torqued down. I just need to take this battery back off just because we're not doing anything right now. Um, we gotta do the valve lash. But before we do that, I don't know if I met, I think I mentioned in a couple videos how the oil catch can from the drain plug was leaking. You can still see where it's dripping. Leaking right out of right in here. You know? So I reached out to the the homies at Max Rod, and I told them what was going on. They said send a couple pictures. I did so. They said say no more. No hassle. No issues. No nothing. They sent out a brand new one. Uh, great customer service. I know a lot of people doubt like eBay stuff or China built things and stuff like that. But the quality of Max Beating Rod stuff is not bad, especially for the price, you know, and their customer service is amazing, stuff like that. So, and I had that here in a few days, you know, but yeah. So what I'm gonna do real quick is swap this catch can over to the new one. I don't have to do lines there, none of that, thank God. Literally, I could just take this off. Take off the two lines right here, one bolt here. This comes out the way, put the new one back in, reverse the process, and that's it. And we're good to go. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so we got a lot of dusty racing in the house. He's got the fancy tool for this, so yeah. We're gonna go ahead and set this valve lash on all these. And then- Just tighten them all the way tight. Tight as you can get them. Um, Intake tight, exhaust loose. Yeah, it helps push more pressure to the turbo so you can make more boost. But, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do valve lash real quick and everything. Got the paper over there with the specs on it for the cam and everything. So, yeah. We'll get this done. Hopefully start her up. Regular right here. So, yeah, we're going to get this done. All right, valve latch done, valve cover back on. Everything's back on and connected, as far as I can see. Um, 
All we got left, distributor plugged in, battery is on. All right, guys, cross your fingers. It's hot. Whew. What do you think, first crank? Maybe. You know me, I'm always saying it's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's the way to go with the first. How many of these are we gonna hit that first start? You might have to put your mat back on. I bet I'm gonna have to do shit. Maybe. That's it. Woo! Right up. Right up. No hesitation. First kick. Yes, sir! I don't know if you guys heard in the video that it was just noise and I was really hoping it wasn't nothing in the head because obviously we just had it torn apart <laughs> and everything we heard a noise everything I drove it a little bit and it's building boost still obviously it's running rich and everything because the cam the tune is way off because of the cam but looking around checking things and scratching my head if you look over here See all those colors and things and stuff? That shouldn't all be there. And this turbo, it's hot, but there's a lot of play. My luck, my luck, the day we were supposed to go to the dyno, the turbo poops out on us. So that means either I hit a match being around to get another turbo for it, or we go to the dyno with the turbo like this, and whatever happens, happens. Or we can just go ahead and bite the bullet and upgrade the turbo since we're going to need it for the built engine. If you do that, you might as well do a manifold. If you do that, you might as well do the interfold. If you do that, you might as well just do three and two interfolds. That's the plan. But obviously that would be when the built engine's in it. I would just go get a tune, bro. It don't smoke. Eh. It, it, don't, it doesn't really. Not like that. But, what I don't understand is how before we did the valves and like, like the springs and retainers and cam, it wasn't the turbo wasn't making noises. Same thing with the computer that I have, bro. Just, things that are just, Yo, it's been more than 30 minutes. Where's that ECU? Not so, Alright guys, so I'll start it up with you guys here and everything and we'll go from there. left off turbo is blown so meeting no dyno I'm gonna hit up my speed rod yet again and see what's going on I don't know if I'm gonna go ahead and get another turbo through them for this or if I'm just gonna go ahead and order a better turbo just so we have it but I hate to buy a better turbo when I need another manifold still and I guess what's saying he's cool prepping all this stuff you know but I don't know maybe we get another turbo throw it on there stuff I might put it down in the comments I might still get the car tuned with this turbo like that because it's building boost and everything it's just the bearings going bad it's starting to smoke a little bit and it's got some play in it so that's what that noise is but that's gonna be it for this video guys i'm gonna go ahead and end it here um hope you guys enjoy this video we've got finally got a built pad on the accord it's hot my girl just pulled up i am thirsty i'm ready to get out of here 
So, with that being said, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification button so y'all get notified when we post. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.